All right, guys, today we're gonna harvest the blue butterfly pea flowers. Stay tuned. Okay, so this is the blue butterfly pea vine. And this is in our homemade, um, we used a trough, drilled some holes, and then we put a room divider and we took out the middle sections and I wove some rope for the vines to crawl on. I can see this from my kitchen window and it's turning out beautiful, beautiful. So today I'm gonna to show you different things to look for. Um, the butterfly pea flower blossoms for 24 hours roughly. Then it shrinks up and falls off and then you get the pods. So I'm gonna show you the first flowers. Like this one is a flower, nice full bloom. This is what I would pick. And all you have to do is hold it right here and it gently, just a slight little pull, there you go. Now, if I don't come out and pick because of weather or something along that line, that's fine too because I want seeds for next year, so I'm not too worried about it. And here's some good examples of newcomers like this one right here is um new that one's new now to see some of the older ones come around to the back side this is more than a day old see how it closes its see how it closes itself up looks kind of dull it's not nice and vibrant that's a little bit more than a day old then down here if I can find it, I do have some pods. I just have to look for them. All right, so I'll find a pod in a second here, but I wanna show you, they do vine. So like this is a vine, hasn't quite reached the trellis. So same thing you do like with the, uh, anything that vines. You just work your way into it. It It is sturdy, it is attached to the main plant. And sometimes what I'll do is I will just take it and weave it with another vine, just so that way it'll start clinging. And you wanna be careful, This the plant is kind of delicate, so just be gentle with it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to find a seed pod. So give me a second. Sometimes they are hard to find. Oh, where'd it go? Well, I had one. Hold on. Okay, found one. They blend in so easily. All right, so right here is what the seed pods look like. They are green, just like the plant. I mean, it, they are hard to find. You, it looks, I mean, unless you're really looking for it up close, they hide very well. But once this seed pod turns brown, I will pick it and let it dry in my house on a paper plate. Um, and then that way I can harvest the seeds from it. When this first started producing flowers, a lot of the flowers on the lower ends, I let them go to seed at the bottom because I'm, I'm encouraging the plant to grow. But today I'm gonna go ahead and harvest all the new flowers so that way it'll continue to vine up. And these are a great science experiment. If you homeschool kids or you just wanna have some fun, you can make blue rice, blue noodles, and a blue drink. Um, you just take the flowers and you seep them. Heat them up, get the water, the water will change color. And you use that water to cook the rice or your noodles and um, or your drink if you want it hot. Now for cold drinks, you can go ahead and 
prep it the day before, put it in your fridge, let it cool down, and then you have your blue butterfly tea drink on ice. Another cool thing is with these flowers is if you add a little bit of lemon juice to it, it will change it to purple. So then you got purple rice, you got purple noodles, and you can have a purple drink, whether it's hot or cold. It's an awesome plant. And it has a lot of properties that help like um, inflammation. Um, it, it has a lot of new, I'll have to look it up and maybe link um, some information in the description below, but there you guys go. That's how you take care of your blue butterfly pea. And like I said, it's great for vertical growing especially if you're in a confined space. You could easily grow this on a trellis and you have a pretty plant to look at. All right, guys, Whew, it got hot. Okay, so here are the green beans and the butterfly, the blue butterfly pea flowers that I'm gonna dehydrate. I got my Hamilton Beach dehydrator. I'm using this one to dry the butterfly pea. Uh, I've already done a few, as you can tell. My collection's growing. We love the butterfly tea. Yeah. Now, what I do is I hold the petals and just gently pull this. It comes right off. And then you unfurl it and just toss it on here. Because when they dry, they are like paper thin. So you can actually clump them together on top of each other and it won't hurt anything with your dehydration. Um, and I have this particular um, cover. This is to use for like uh, super fine things, but I find it works really good with the butterfly pea. You can do it on this. But sometimes when you're pulling the butterfly pea off, it will fall through the cracks. So, you know, I just do it as it comes. Um, now, I'm not going to use this whole entire stack. Uh, more than likely, this will all fit onto the one, which is the top tray. So I'll take this off. Set it like that. Put those aside. Put the lid on. So I'm gonna go ahead and get going and I'll show you the aftermath. All right, so I'm gonna put this on, put the lid on it, and see. Four hours at 160, and start it. Now the other noise you're hearing is my dishwasher. I forgot how to go. So then uh, I'll show you what it looks like after the four hours. And there you have it, all dried up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put them in a jar, which is right here. And that's how easy it is. Okay, I am today years old, learning this. So this piece, goes into my Hamilton dehydrator. I've been using it for my butterfly pea. And I'm sitting here and I'm like thinking to myself, man, I wish I could just set this down on the mason jar. Now I just pick off and I can put straight into the, how? Now it makes me wonder because now I'm gonna try it with something else. Hold on. So here's, no, it won't work. I was just thinking. No, but it does sit on it. <laughs> so yeah, if you all have one of these, look, I just made it easier. So now I could just, as I'm picking these flowers off, drop 